Well, hi, everybody, and welcome back to the show. I'm Ray Wood. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'm joined today by founder of Relia or co-founder of Relia.me, uh, and we're going to hear all about it, um, Zach Kerber. Zach, how are you doing today? I'm doing awesome, Ray. Thanks for having me today. Um, You're really welcome. excited to, to chat. You're in Phoenix, Arizona. Is it nice and warm there today? Yeah, this weekend we're actually having, uh, I think it's going to be 113 or 114 Fahrenheit. Nice. Um, so pretty, right. pretty hot. <laughs> so in, in real temperature, that's about 42 degrees, folks, just so everybody knows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the USA that's why I added being, the Fahrenheit. <laughs> the USA being the only country in the world that forgot everybody went Celsius. I love, I love bringing yeah. that up. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're still doing 75 on the freeway? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, that's mm -hmm. good. Um, <laughs> now, buddy, tell me about, I, I'm so excited to have you on the show because I'm a nerd um, uh, and I love real estate and your Relia is a combo of both. Um, so, guys, check that out. Let us let's let me just give you the URL here. It's Relia, R-E-A-L-I-A dot M-E, Relia dot me. Go check it out. Um, you can find out all, all you need to know. Uh, preparing for this interview about 40 minutes ago, I just got lost in all these features and all these very cool ideas. What a beautiful uh, what a beautiful UX your website is. So if that's any indication of what agents are getting, they're in for a treat. So where did this all come from? Zach, you're a co-founder. Give, give me the genesis of this uh, brilliantly creative idea. Yeah, so um, my co-founder, Daniel, he had a neighbor uh, that was a broker owner, brokerage owner in Las Vegas, and the brokerage had been handed down to him from his father. Uh, so lots of history there and a lot of uh, brand reputation in the local area. Yep. But at, at a certain point, um, since the brokerage was old, it wasn't up to date tech wise. And there was a lot of younger, newer agents that were actually winning some really big listings that he thought was in the bag. And he, I've been in the marketing space for years. And then our, uh, my co-founder, he's been a uh, developer for years as well. And we were all talking one day and he was, he was like, I don't know what, what's going on here. How are they winning these listings? No, I'm not. And how are they growing their brokerages? And no, I'm not, I should, I should be growing because I'm the one that's been here around longer. And what we found was these, these younger agents and brokerages, they were leveraging tech and they were leveraging really beautiful websites that loaded quickly, that integrated MLS data, housing data, and that converted people on the back end with the CRM and automations. And that was just all stuff that he did not have. Yeah. So originally we just built it for him as a favor. Um, I kind of built out more of a funnel side of it. And then Daniel coded a lot of what we were using and it got to a certain point where we were adding stuff on the weekends. And um, he was like, you guys need to, to leverage this and, and show this to more people because it, it's powerful and it's working for me. Mm -hmm. And that was originally how it got born is just out of necessity for a specific real estate brokerage. Yeah. So he was actually one of the people that built a lot of the first features and they were all built based off request. Yep. Um, and they were all built based off what we were actually seeing competitors do um, on a daily basis for him. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's, it's fabulous to have a brand story like that, isn't it? And that's a really cool story. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you young guys out there having a go and, and you're a smart guy partnering with a developer. So yeah. there you go. You, you probably say, yeah, say he's crazy good. Five, $5 yeah. million or something. So, um, <laughs> so, um, and that's what, that's what I did at Jiggler with, with uh, our partner, Josh and um, uh, Jiggler is like a canva for real estate agents. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a startup I'm involved with, but we'd be nowhere without our lead developer, uh, Josh. Um, so Zach, what there are, We've got some choices when it comes to real estate websites at the moment. What's different about really adopt me? What's, uh, what's, what's your USP, would you say? Yeah, so there's a few things that are setting us apart at the moment. Yeah. Uh, the first off is just the customizability. A lot of the competitors out there, 
uh, like Real Geeks or even Boomtown or any of those kind of providers, they have you really kind of handcuffed to one or two or three options. Um, and we also additionally don't believe that the options out there right now look modern and they're not using a lot of data science to really understand what's keeping people on websites and what's converting. Yep. So just by us adding um, certain interactive features into the designs of our websites, we're able to keep people's attention for 11% longer. And the longer we can keep people on there, the more that we can convert them into leads. Yep. Um, um, additionally, we're also integrating the MLS in a way where it's it's beautifully designed, but we're not using clunky iframes and clunky ways to put MLS data in there. We're actually reformatting a lot of housing data in real time and yeah. pushing it to your website so it's native and it and it loads a lot quicker, especially yeah. on mobile where yeah. most people are for yeah. your leads and your prospects. You've you've talked about. Um, fast loading um, URLs a couple of times now. Um, so it's mm -hmm. obviously something near and dear to your heart. The latest stat that I heard, Zach, was that if your page doesn't, you'll lose 40% of your traffic if your page doesn't load in like three or four seconds. And that's probably shortening every day. I mean, we live in a world where instant coffee isn't, isn't fast enough. But um, <laughs> That is such an important thing, isn't it? And like you know, we've all got we've all got relatively good in internet speeds nowadays. It's not like it's uh, the year two thousand. So um, it's exciting to have this 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 kind of thing. I've got a million ideas running around my head um, because real estate agents seem to get confused. They are looking for this solution, but a lot of these solutions are very hard to drive. How would you? How would you rate um, really like the learning process? Because you've got, man, you've got, you've got my basic website if I'm an agent, okay? I've got my website out there uh, and I've had a look at the, the websites and they're beautiful. And guys, check it out. Like I said, really.me. Um, so you can build my website landing pages. What, what kind of things are you using for, for, lead, for lead magnets with your landing pages? Yeah, awesome question. So for those that don't know, the Relia platform is an end-to-end -end solution. So it's the front-end website. We actually have some lead generation landing page libraries that you can leverage as well, where the menus are stripped away so you don't lose leads from them going to click around your blogs and your about me. It's very streamlined, right? Um, so they're very specifically designed to convert traffic. Yep. And then you have our really a backend, which is our CRM. And that incorporates a lot of things like you can have text message blasts, email blasts, you can put them into automations where they're nurturing your leads and getting them closer to close. And then you can also have things like MLS strips going on. So there are a lot of moving pieces when you have a complete stack like Relia is. And we understand that if you can't use it, it's useless for you, right? It's going to yeah. cost you more cost you more than it's going to make you. And yeah. we've really combated that in two ways. The first is the UX. So when it comes to updating things like your website, we've been told certain things from clients, like it's easier than updating your Facebook post, right? So you can literally click on the text on your website that you want to change and you just change it right there. There's a pop-up box and that feature is you can try it out on our homepage when you visit it. But we actually offer unlimited one hour support sessions for agents and teams and brokerages that use our software. So we have something called masterclass sessions. And on the back end, there's a Zoom link or a Calendly link where they can book in a Zoom any time of the day, as many times in a week as they want to make sure that they are fully leveraging the technology. Yeah. And we're going to come prepared to those meetings with them uh, with insights from our top teams and, and agents and brokerages and what's working for them and then yeah. apply it to your business one-on-one. -on -one. Well, congratulations, because um, um, it's not really, it is support, but it's more really sales, isn't it? It's really, it's re really re like you've put a promise out there to attract somebody into your world. And, and the best way to keep them is to show them how to drive the car. Um, and, and that's mm -hmm. what you're doing with, with this. The, the other thing I love about it is that, you know, the, the agent websites that, that you offer are out there in the world and they're working and you've got your um, landing pages, et cetera but you're collecting this data and it's going through to your CRM, which is part of the package as well. So you might get five leads a day, you might get 50, it depends on what you're doing, but you're storing all of this really, really valuable data. So 
I can get a I can get a bunch of likes on Facebook and stuff, but I'm not getting a first name and email, am I? So um, mm-hmm. this is where it's so important to be able to own your data. Tell me a little bit about your CRM and and what it can do. Yeah, so glad you touched on the CRM because the CRM, I believe, is one of the most powerful tools that an agent can leverage. Yep. Um, there's especially when you're getting to the point where maybe you've been an agent for a few years and now you're trying to keep tabs on 500 plus names and emails and and addresses and all that kind of stuff. Our CRM is extremely robust in the way that. All your text messaging can be done within the CRM. We also have an iPhone app that can be downloaded to your phone so you can take the CRM on the go. Um, Calls can be done through the CRM so you can have a a business number, if you will, that you can turn off and on to take back control of your your life so clients can't call you at 12.01 in the morning and and start asking all kinds of silly questions. But our CRM not only will keep track of notes, text messages, phone calls, and buyer and seller data. Like, are they qualified for this? What are they looking for? What are they really trying to get into as far as a home? But it will also track ad data. If you guys are running any paid leads, you'll know exactly which ad that lead came from at all times. And then the CRM can actually smartly put people into different sequences of messages, depending on if they're a buyer, if they're a seller, if they came in organically, if they came in from paid and nurture them in very, very specific ways to your brand and custom to your brand to get them to be a buyer. So we do that through emails, texting, um, phone calls. It can actually remind you to do certain tasks throughout the day. And we've just released a transaction management software inside of really as well. So they can track their commissions and when they're going to be coming in on nice. top of that. So agents can really project out what income is going to be coming to them in the coming months based on closing dates. Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, if, if, uh, is, is, it, is this the sort of thing where, where agents can get a trial? I guess if you're setting something up, it's a little bit difficult, isn't it? So how long does it take to set up my, my platform? Yeah, awesome question. So at the moment, we don't have a free trial specifically because when you launch with us in your first onboarding meeting, you're going to have a live website that we're going to custom build with you on a one hour Zoom. And by the, one hour, by the end of that one hour Zoom, you can then have a website to share with all of your Facebook friends, your LinkedIn network, uh, or just make business cards for it. So it really just takes one onboarding Zoom and you schedule that as soon as you sign up. And as soon as you have that onboarding Zoom, you're kind of off to the races. Right. And we might have a, a follow-up onboarding to maybe button up a few things, but it's really, we have full availability. So sometimes people get those onboardings scheduled in the same day that they sign up. Nice, nice. And, and, and this is kind of a DIY. Once they get access to the backend platform, they can do it themselves, upload their logos and images. And, and can they link up their IDX uh, with their IDX link as well? Yep. Yep. So we'll walk you through every step of that. But if the uh, user did want to go ahead and update all of those things on their own and get it up and running on their own, that is definitely something that can be done. We understand that real estate agents are real estate agents first and learning tech and trying to set up a a new tech isn't something that's going to be a a huge money needle mover for them. And we want to make this as streamlined and as white glove as possible. So yes, they can do it on their own, but we're always, always here to make sure it's the the least amount of friction as possible when getting up and running. Yeah. Can we talk about affordability? Um, I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm blown away by the number of agents that, that, either don't have a website, a basic website, or they have a crappy website, or they have something that, that loads really slowly, and they don't have a CRM. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was, talk- I was talking with, them, with an agent yesterday, actually, who's relatively successful. Um, he's got three or 400 contacts. I'm going, dude, how do you, how do you even survive? And he, he didn't have any CRM. And I'm, and I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to articulate the, the life-changing experience that he would, yeah. he would enjoy if he got some simple tech tools. I mean, he was mm-hmm. a guy in his 40s. I'm older than that. So, you know, he, he just didn't get it. But talk to me about affordability. What kind of, um, uh, what, are our, what are our costs to get started? Yeah, so in terms of affordability, you're looking at 
well, if you, you try to do this on your own, right. Your, a WordPress website is way some of the agents go and it's, it's a long process. It's months and months to build out. Right. And sometimes it can cost upwards of $5,000 just to get a, a real website up and running. Plus you have the CRM in the back end. So what we've done with not only getting your site launched the same day as your onboarding, but we've taken the CRM and now it's all working together. So there's no friction there. You don't have to Frankenstein a CRM with your website and hope that they're constantly talking to each other. Um, our plans start for a single agent at $299 a month. Uh -huh. And then that goes, and that includes the call center, the texting, the email blasts, the text blasts, um, everything that we've gone over, the MLS strips, everything, including the automations. And then on top of that, our pricing goes down substantially for teams. Okay. So a team of five agents, for example, um, can get set up for under $1,000 a month, yep. um, as well as a team of 10 agents can be around $1,000 a month, depending yep. on what specific things that they're going to need. So we see a lot of um, teams and brokerages come on, and we probably have the biggest user base of single agents right yep. now. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, the, the the thing about real estate is that our that our fee for service is is substantial, isn't it? So 20, 30, mm -hmm. 40k, whatever it might be. Um, so if you can't make this work very, very quickly, there's there's something horribly wrong. And I think like you keep mentioning, the support is such a is such a great feature. Um, what with what's been your feedback from agents as far as as far as things that they love uh, or things that they need and things that they love about Rilia? Is there a standout feature? Because um, you're, you're in the problem solving business, really, aren't you? You're creating this mm -hmm. beautiful tech solution, this seamless solution. What's the, what's, the, what's the standout feedback on your features? Yeah, so I would say the number one thing that attracts people to us initially is going to be the design of our front end websites, because there's just right. nobody else that that is coming close to that. And that's really the face of their brand. Yep. Um, but once people become onboarded into our system and we start showing them the, the automations and the tools, we show them how they can leverage one hour of time to set something up as far as an automation or an automatic response to a message. Yep. And then that's going to save them 30, 40, 50 hours of their life over the next couple of months. And that ends up being what people get addicted to is saving that time. How can I set up more automations? How can I get this to work for me in the background? So I can be out showing houses, but I'm still following up with leads without even have to pressing a button or without even have to think about it. Yeah. Yep. Um, check this out, kids. This is uh, this is the Relia.me site. So oh, I've just got to fluff that up with uh, trying to do it. But um, it is a gorgeous looking thing. It's a thing of beauty, Zach. Congratulations. Um, Thank you. The gorgeous looking interface. It loads like a Ferrari, this thing. Um, it's just so clean and it's so easy to navigate. Um, I'm not even, I haven't even checked out the CRM yet, but um, Guys, if you go to if you go to Relia um, you'll be able to you'll be able to schedule a demo. You'll be able to um, look under the hood. You'll be able to check out everything about it. Now, um, only available in, available in Canada and the US at the moment, Zach. Yeah, so that's where we currently have the two user bases, but we have talked to people outside Canada and the US. As long as there's an MLS connectivity in your local area and an MLS that we can link into to shoot to show housing data, we can then use MLS features. However, we do have some agents that that don't end up connecting to the MLS for whatever reason, they still have a beautiful website and the CRM can function just as well. You just yeah. don't have the connectivity to bring in housing data into your marketing materials. Yeah. And that's the only difference. If I'm, if I'm um, splitting up with my current um, CRM or website provider, is it, is it straightforward to, ex to import my, my client data into my Relia platform? Yep. So a great question. As soon as you export it into an Excel sheet, the next day you'll see it in your CRM and Relia. Uh, we're extremely quick about that. Lovely. And it's, it's super easy as well as we're always empowering our users to own their domains, to own their data. There's export buttons for all your data at all times. We never keep anything hidden behind a lock. Yep. Um, we understand it's your data, your website, your brand. And we want you guys to feel like you have full ownership at all times. 
Fabulous, fabulous. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Um, what a what a brilliant concept. Congrats, congrats on on your success. Um, thank you. It's uh, it's just such a great uh, user experience. So um, uh, I'll uh, I will let you know when this episode is live, and you can uh, share it with your nearest and dearest. Oh, awesome! I'm I'm excited. I'm going to blast it across LinkedIn and and everywhere. So Thanks, I'm excited mate. to see it. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks so much, Zach. Thanks for your time today. All right. Thank you too. Okay, buddy.